Hello everyone and welcome back to some more of Give Me Your Stuff, where I take a look at your scrap mechanic creations that you've been sending me in the Discord. Cool. Thanks. 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 Just go away. Alright. First up, we're taking a look at Seaplane by Speedy Plays. Let's check it out. Luckily, we're right by the water. What the heck kind of a bounce was that? What kind of a bounce is that? It does it always bounce backwards? What? Hold on. I turned it around and it... Eh. Physics. Wow, that's very buoyant. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I, I don't think I'm closing that door. Oh wait, it already closed? The switch just sort of turns it on, but I'm not I don't seem to be taking off yet, so maybe I need to push these buttons. Okay. Okay. Whoa, oh no 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 pitch down, pitch down. Whoa, pitch up, pitch up. Pitch down, pitch down. Pitch up, pitch up. <laughs> pitch down, pitch down. Okay, 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 okay. Stabilize. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, pitch down. No, 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 that was up. <laughs> uh, these controls are not super easy to use. Oh no. Oh no. Help me, WASD. Help. <laughs> I'm having trouble taking off. What do the other buttons do? Oh, you know what? I should have done that sooner. So much sooner. Just pressing multiple buttons at the same time would have turned on more thrusters. Yeah, there you go. That's how you can turn this plane into overdrive. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. You know what? We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Landed it. Small shed by Zreep, or Zryep. Let's check it out. Whoop. Hey, that's a pretty cool logo, like a brand name or like an emblem. Welded in place, let's take a look around. I love the detail work that people put into, why is this corner? This corner is different, do you see that? Different, different kind of wood. Like they had to repair the shed or something. Hey, that's cool. Using different thickness for the tree trunk. All right, well, let's go into this shit that says do not enter. I clearly see some flashing lights. I know there's something funky going on in here. What do you got? Oh, it's just a fireplace. I thought I was gonna enter some like, you know, mad scientist workshop or something. No, it's just flickering lights because, uh, you know, you don't, you don't screw in the light bulb properly or something. Got bad electricity. Look at the detail work that went into everything here. So wait, what does this stuff do? Oh, oh, they even put in, they even put in like power lines to show you what it goes to. This type of detail work in the build, this is the type of stuff that you want to see in like a, a challenge pack or something, right? That you have to, you know, repair the wire somewhere to turn on a light to see what the answer is. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, cool, they even got a thing. I totally forget what it is, but it's a thing that you crank and it tightens the thing. You grip stuff in it. Sometimes you crush stuff. Well, this is cute. This is nice and cute. Adorable little shed. <laughs> they got signage on how to package a banana? I love the hammer. Good stuff. Fantastic. Oh, look at that. The emblem on the top tilted. I didn't even notice because it was on the lift when I first saw it. Fantastic stuff, Zreep. Like the attention to detail that you put into your builds. It just makes it so much better, right? Oh, you're even collecting rainwater. What? What? This is a small shed, like, out in the country in the middle of nowhere. All right, up next, FCM.36 by Soupsy. What the heck's going on there? Yeah, there's definitely, like, a broken mod somewhere. Well, that's unfortunate. I should have all the mods loaded in, but, like, that's that's definitely a broken mod. Here we've got a 1973 Longhorn Tungsten with reefer trailer. It's a giant transport truck. Let's check it out. Oh, okay, so it's got a hitch and everything. I gotta detach it here. It's gonna be pretty cool though, backing up into that to hitch it myself. But uh, yeah, this is what I need. There you go. A little kickstand for the truck. Trailer truck, truck trailer. Hey, pretty cool. Pretty cool, a giant, giant empty container. Oh, that's cool, it's got these big old lights on the side too. What, it's even got, oh, it's even got the horns in the front. Heck yeah, that's, 
That's awesome. All right, let's just hop right on in. There we go. Driver's seat. Visibility is kind of terrible. But then again, it's a giant transport truck, so I don't know what I expected. Uh, all right, so let's see what we got here. We got uh, switch number one. Oh, it's the lights. Switch number two. Ah, opens up the hitch. Okay, opens up the hitch in the back. <laughs> I like how this uh, this giant truck is a little derpy horn. And number four is the radio. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, open up the hitch in the back because we got to back up into it. Oh gosh, did I get it? Did I get it first shot? Close it. Did I actually get it first shot? No way! Okay, well, I gotta get out. I gotta get out, because I gotta... All right, here we go. Yeah, now we're hauling. Oh my goodness, I feel like such a professional, professional transport driver. Getting that first try, my goodness, that was amazing. I feel so accomplished in life. Look at that thing tip, though. Oh, this is crazy, this is absolutely crazy. Whoa! <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! My drive wheels are not making contact. Uh oh! It's always nice to drive like a, a variety of different vehicles in scrap mechanic creative mode and uh, transport. Like this is something that uh, you don't see very often, but you know it's always fun to drive around. And I think it would be a lot more fun if uh, maybe we had something dangerous to transport. Maybe. Gotta be careful with that dangerous load, very fragile. Get it, put, put, oh gosh. Oh no, that's not going in. Did I get the stick in the hole? Put the stick in the hole. Mmm, tighten up. Oh wait, 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 then we gotta, gotta remove this. Here we go. All right, back to the truck. Let's get to delivering this nuke. All right, we're gonna deliver it to the launch pad that I started at. I just gotta be very careful not to be too rough yeah, I just can't zoom out any further, so I can't really see what the nuke is doing. All right, well, let's go for it. I mean, the launch pad's right there. I'm totally gonna make it. I'm, I'm totally gonna succeed in delivering this nuke. Oh, <laughs> it tips over. Here we go, here we go. Take the jump. Got it. Look at that. Not even a problem. No problems. I'm starting to wonder if, uh, if there's any danger at all. Oh wait, never mind. Kaboom! Up next we've got Comrade. Oh my gosh, pardon the terrible impression. This is Comrade by Aero, I mean, Aqua Sparrow. Not Aero Spaqua. It's Aqua Sparrow that made Comrade. I think this is a specific model of like farmer tractor. WASD. Oh, this is adorable. This is ador- Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Having a race with these would be amazing. <laughs> this is great. Oh, okay, it's a little it's a little bit too fast for or it needs like a wheelie bar if you're really gonna be doing a race with these. Whoop. I love the derpy suspension settings on this though, and like it's so top heavy. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> nice. Ah! Oh, that was fun. That was really fun, doing a wheelie downhill like that. Uh-oh, that's not a wheelie. <laughs> All right. Whoa there, comrade. Very nice, very adorable. Honestly, I'm not really a, I'm not really a, this kind of builder type of thing, or at least like not in survival mode. Like in survival mode, I'm definitely not gonna be building something like this, this adorable looking. I'm just saying that I always build like only what I need. So it's like a very ugly looking vehicle that gets me from point A to point B with the bare minimum. It's a very cute vehicle. So that's why I'm just like, I would never build this in survival mode because that's how cute it looks. It's, it's, it's adorable, it's adorable. From Aqua Sparrow, it's uh, called the Duck Tuck Furnished 2.0. Oh, oh, it's another, <laughs> it's another derpy, adorable vehicle. This one's three-wheelered, my goodness. All like a duck. Look at the beak and the eyes in the front. And the little ducky in the front, and the little ducky. Look at that though, I love, I love that they use the propellers on the side as like little wings for the Duck Tuck. Yeehaw. That's what you say with ducks, right? You say yeehaw ducks. Duck Tuck 
Let me tell you, Aqua Sparrow knows how to build some cute vehicles. Some very adorable looking stuff. All right, and here we've got an RPM simulator by Marluna. Marluna, Marluna, Marluna. So it's just gonna spin the block. I, you know, I should probably weld this to the ground. All right, so it says 3,000. Uh, okay, okay, so here's a reset button. We can set that to zero. Oh, that, oh, oh, okay, okay. These are all my controls here. They're all wired up, ready for me to go. Okay, so then here would be up by five? Those are red ticks, though. I'm confused, I'm a little bit confused. Five, 10, 50, whatever, it's five. 30 seems to be the RPM. Oh, that's what RPM, that's okay. I finally wrapped my head around what the numbers are doing. It's converting, because the, the engine works in degrees per second. So this mathematical conversion is actually RPM, rotations per minute. I get it. So put, okay, I get it, I finally get it. So normally when you're doing this, it would be like 10, 20, 30. So this is like 30 degrees per second. So doing that, 30 degrees per second, is that five rotations per minute? Rotations per minute. So then obviously, obviously we have these things over here uh, that count down. Yeah, we can spin the other direction if we want. Negative direction, but this thing over here seems to be a lot of buttons. Oh! <laughs> All right, I think our frames aren't even lining up. We have uh, 60 frames per second, but I think they're actually lining up the other way. Yeah, so if we press this button again, it's gonna go even faster. So it's gonna look like it's gonna look like it's spinning the other way, just because of how 60 frames per second lines up with how fast it's actually spinning. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Let's do it again. There you go, there you go. <laughs> it's spinning so fast that the physics frames are just lining up perfectly with, what is it, a 180, 100, or 18,000 rotations per minute. Dare I touch it? Dare I actually touch this? Oh my god, it is so close to my elbow! I'm gonna touch it butt first. Oh, what? It doesn't, it doesn't, is my butt stronger than this? No way. No way. They call me Diamond Cheeks. Okay, well, let's go ahead and this thing is, you know, I'm just gonna keep on smashing this until I see it like line up again. See those corners glitching out? I want those corners to align. Like the planets are gonna align. Some of them are getting closer. Five hundred eighty-five thousand. Now I feel like it's just gotta be a multiple of three hundred and sixty. <laughs> All right. Well, let's just go ahead and touch it with my butt again. Yeah, it really, it really doesn't seem to matter. Maybe if I jump on it. Oh. No, 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 on it. Oh, oh, that's pretty dangerous, pretty dangerous. Is the power value actually going in? No, this is just speed, it's not power. Oh, you know what, that might be an issue. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, duplicate this. There you go. Number block, black to set power, black into the engine, the same value. Yeah, there you go. You see it moved a little bit, so I think power was too low to actually spin it to the full speed. That I'm, you know, definitely way over, by the way. So let's go ahead and try to touch it with my butt again and see if this new power value can actually do anything. Let's go. Oh! Whoa. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Ah, these blocks are in the way. Can I, can I just like stop it? Boop. Oof. All right, we're back, we're back. There you go, there you go. So if you push, 
So if you push these buttons like uh, six times exactly, you get this 180,000. And yeah, 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 I'm kind of curious, like jumping on this, it seems like it's, <laughs> you know, this would actually make a great troll in Scrap Mechanic, like or in like a challenge mode or something. Like if you did this, uh, it looks like it's spinning slowly, but then if you jump on it, like BAM! Oh, that'd be such a great troll, especially on like a obstacle course where you have to like jump on things and like one of them looks, you know, put a bunch of them that are actually spinning slowly, but then put this in the middle of them. Oh, it's gonna be so funny, so funny. What the heck? Where did I even fly to? <laughs> what? Uh, I think I teleported. I don't even know. I'm gonna slow down the video footage in editing or something to see what happened. Oh, that's great. Anyway, I'm definitely like way distracted with this. So let's just go ahead and detach it from the ground and see what happens. All right, I don't think I'm gonna get that one back. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. All right, up next we've got Mechanic Engine Meme by Nicola Piston. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, well, I think we have some kind of an idea of what mod is broken now. I think it seems to be the Train Wheels mod. Uh, does it actually work though? Does it actually have collision? Nah, it doesn't seem to. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work anymore. It's really unfortunate that like the game updates ruin mods and then it ruins videos like this one where I can't even, you know, check out the things that you guys build anymore. Up next though, we're gonna check out a code door system by Mr. T. Okay, so it does have the code in the description, but let's go ahead and uh, put in a wrong code and see what happens. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's a cute little ticking noise. All right, then we push uh, green. I guess that was uh, not not a good code. So then let's put in the correct code, which is one four zero three six two. Was that also wrong? Reset, reset, reset. One four zero. Oh, oh, here it's even keeping track of the numbers that I put in. Three six two. There you go. Boop beep. I like that. Okay, and then so here, then you have your logic output. Okay, so then that's what this blueprint is for. If you want a code system for your door, and so then these logic gates here, red and green, are the outputs, open or close, or like correct or whatever. I think that's actually pretty neat that there are some scrap mechanic players out there that, uh, you, you know, you're super, if you're good at logic, if you're good at, you know, building these logical things, do this exactly, like build these little, I mean, Nobody asked for this, by the way. Nobody nobody asked for a code door lock, but it's still useful. Like, somebody still would find this useful in their world. And they would appreciate, like, especially if they are a scrap mechanic player that's not so good in logic, and they want to have a code door lock system thing. Uh, like, you just did them a favor, so. This is this is something that, uh, like, I think is a really good thing. Especially, like, if, you're, if you love logic, and if you, you know, that's something that you're into, you do your passion, and other people will appreciate it for their passions as well. Very bare bones train, a steam train engine, no mods by Derpy Face Games YouTube. YouTube. Oh, cool. It's actually, it's actually steam, because it's pistons. Steam engine. Look at that. So wait, it's actually, how are you timing that? It's just a con, oh, get you fake. Fake, fake, fake. <laughs> the pistons aren't driving the wheels. Here I am about to be proud that they were actually pushing wheels using the pistons. As soon as I pull out the connection tool. Exposed, exposed. <laughs> I think that's one of the first things that I also ended up building as well when I first started playing Scrap Mechanic, like doing this uh, wheel connection thing. Like building a train, building a train is fun in Scrap Mechanic. <laughs> Build trains is fun. Here we've got a Boeing 737 by Speedy Plays. Let's check it out. He's a big boy. Let's just hit the switch on the door. Hope that I can get in. All right, delete the seat. There we go. <laughs> One potatoes? Ah. Uh... Everyone sits on toilets in this plane. So what's the point of a bathroom? 
<laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. <laughs> all right, all right. And then over here is another bathroom that nobody needs ever. Okay, let's get in the pilot seat. Does not come with any instructions, so we're just gonna hit buttons and hope for the best. Sw okay, yep, 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 yep. WASD does not seem to do much of anything. AD has some steering. This is as much as I can zoom out, which kind of, which kind of sucks. Okay, okay, okay. I think it has the same plane controls as the other plane that we saw, the C plane. I mean, I guess it's made by the same person, but what does this switch do? Is that landing gear? Shouldn't that have been out already? <laughs> All right, let's turn the plane off and land. Probably not a good spot to land. Hopefully I'm not on top of a tree, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, look at that. That was actually pretty good. SpaceX Spaceship SN10. Is it, this is not, this is not how they keep a, a launch site. Like, especially if there's gonna be, you know, lots of fire and, and <laughs> like, uh, this is all gonna catch fire. There's no way, this is not. <laughs> uh, I mean, I get that you were putting that there for aesthetics, but I'm pretty sure this would all be over here next to this shed. You gotta detach this first. Oof. All right, the pistons are able to support it. How does one get inside? There is no seat on it, is there? It's just supposed to launch and then come back. All fully automated, huh? And here's the launch. Oh, okay, it's going. Is it going? It's going. I really should put a seat on that. Oh, is it actually doing the flop? I can barely tell. Wait, wait, is it going somewhere? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I thought it was gonna land back down on the pad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it is definitely not landing on the pad. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, that hit the ground so hard. <laughs> Up next, we've got one from Lenny K. This is a fully automated bowling alley. So I think this was uh, inspiration from the last Give Me Your Stuff video where I showed off somebody else's uh, bowling alley and it looks like Lenny K took it as a challenge and made their own fully automated. Oh, inside bowling alley, nameless bowling alley. <laughs> nice. Uh, what's this? I have no idea what this is. It's just a cube or is that another mod that's uh, broken by Axolot? But it looks like we're supposed to take these out yeah, no idea what that is. Pretty sure I'm supposed to weld this together, though. And this here, my bowling ball. There's the cash register. Turn on the lights. Ooh, nice. Nice fancy party lights. That did kill my FPS, though, a little bit. Yeah, what is this? What are all these squares over here? I'm pretty sure these aren't supposed to be squares. Or are they? I have no idea. Let's go ahead and take this, put it on a lift. It is a bowling ball. No way, no, don't tell me, don't tell me this is all broken. Where are the pins? Oh, they're there, what? Okay, so let me grab one of these. Yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely, oh shoot. It's definitely uh, the bowling parts mod. Bowling parts mod's broken. Gosh, Axolot, why you gotta break it? I can't, like so many fun creations I wanted to try out. Oh, this is so upsetting because this looks amazing. This looks this like an amazing fully automated bowling alley. And I can only be mad at Axolot for having broken a mod. I can't imagine Lenny K like making a mod, not testing it and then publishing these cute. Pretty sure Lenny definitely would have published a bowling ball and pin, right? Why the heck would he publish cubes? I mean, I guess it still has spherical collision, but very clearly this is broken and I can only be mad at Axolot. Ah, <laughs> ah, Axolot. More than just a few creations that I tried to look at today were not what they were supposed to be, and it's not anybody else's responsibility, but Axolot's. That is so frustrating. My goodness. Sorry, Lenny K, I'll definitely check it out when things are working, 
but, uh, man, I shouldn't have to keep on trying, like, over and over again, right? Like, this game, this game, man, let me tell you. All right, up next, I think we've got a couple of things to check out. This is a flying ship AI autopilot. And it also comes with a flying ship dock. So I'm guessing this is a flying ship AI that goes from dock to dock. So, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and get, uh, at, I guess a couple of these docks out first. So here's the flying ship AI uh, by SpyVest. And here's the dock. So let's go ahead and build a dock first. I don't know how or where to weld it, so. Uh, maybe here, like this. This is like the lineup at an amusement park with a gate that is also broken. Okay, so this is station number one. It does have some instructions. Weld this platform with the exit towards the north or the ship will not land properly. Okay, so it's hard coded to be a specific orientation, which I probably already messed up. Just like that. Okay, so I think we're good with one station. Let's go ahead and uh, leave this as station number one. And we're gonna go over this way a little bit. Spawn in another dock. But this one, we're gonna name something different. We're gonna go ahead and rename this dock to be, oh, I don't know, number five. So presumably then, you'd have like as many of these as you want in your world. You don't have to stick with uh, just a single digit number. You can have up to, you know, 99. If you stack on enough digits, you can have up to a thousand. Like, it's really up to you how many of them you have. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the flying ship AI autopilot that's supposed to be going with this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the ground here and kind of assume that it will take off just from anywhere on the ground. Oh, was I supposed to, was I supposed to? I just kinda jumped higher than my physical height. <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> anyway. Okay. Oh, it says station three. Uh, yeah, we can pretend we're in station three. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, let's go ahead and go to uh, station five. The one that we're right next to. Press the green switch to turn on the autopilot. All right. All right, autopilot away. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm sinking through the ground a little bit. Don't want that. Okay. Speed of the blocks. ST is the station. A is the altitude. I think we're finally over top station five. And we're just sort of hovering at 500 blocks. All right, when are we gonna go down? When are we gonna land? I think we just have, like, we're very, very slowly lining up, if you can see that thruster firing. All right, coming in for a landing. Oh my gosh, I thought this, th I thought this thing spent so much time lining up. <laughs> it didn't even line up. No, failure. Another attempt, except we're going to station one this time. Let's go down into the hold. We're gonna set this just 100. So that's our cruising altitude. This time let's go to station one. AI, take us there. All right, this time, this time the ship's actually turning. And here we go, we've reached the cruising altitude. So far this attempt is going much better. But let's just see what happens. All right, so the ship turned itself around. Seems like it's trying to line up. So far, it's looking much better. So far, we're getting actually onto the dock. Here we go. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, beautiful. Ready for the next passengers. Oh, your sky journey awaits. Oh my goodness. Spybest, this is a fantastic creation. I love the style of it. I, I love it. I love the, the fully automated AI autopilot stuff. Fantastic stuff. All right, we're gonna be checking out one more creation today. AI player tracking drone. Also, this scroll bar is very incorrect for my position in the lift. AI player tracking drone. It will follow you wherever you go. It's pretty hard to confuse. All right, let's see the player tracking drone. Okay. 
So if I go ahead and run this way, it's tracking me. Pretty hard to confuse, you say? You know, that's actually super cool. Also, I kind of need to, uh, kind of need to get that now. No, don't go higher up. I need you. Ah, oh, all right. I'm gonna turn off gravity to get it. I'm gonna do one little modification to this thing, uh, just to see what happens, or just see what it's like, I should say. All right, well, I guess that's the end of that video. Holy moly, this game, let me tell you. So that's all that I got for you guys for today for Give Me Your Stuff. If you guys would like for me to check out your creations, head on over to my Discord into the Give Me Your Stuff channel. Just submit the link. That's the channel that I look at when I'm doing videos like this one. And I do try to like look at them all, but I gotta tell you, like I'm actually really far behind on the amount of blueprints that people sent, but still, still send in whatever you got. I'd love to check them out. And I'm gonna be doing some more videos like this because I'm always interested to see the things that you guys build. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.